What's going on guys? My name is Aaron. Welcome back to the channel where I'm talking all things crypto and marketing and today we are talking about SafeMoon. My wallet update, I want to show you exactly what I made or what I lost in my wallet, how much I have invested and what my plan is for the future and how I see the price going up and down with SafeMoon and whether or not you should be investing in it as well and kind of my thought process and you could kind of see how I'm thinking about this whole safe moon uh, situation that we have ourselves in. Uh, also, we're going to be talking about the different exchanges and a little bit of fuddy-duddy stuff, right? How to deal with the FUD. All right, so let's get right into it. I don't want to waste your time. I want to so show you my um, setup here. And if we go into my wallet right now, it is at $4,000 at almost 800 million safe moon. Um, and that's what we're that's what I'm dealing with right now um, it, it so I like I said I always want to take out my primary investment I think it's too low right now for me to do that it was sitting at like 9,000 now it's like down here we're gonna take a look at the charts um, and just kind of zoom in and see if whether or not this is a good investment for you we I mean like this is only about 50 days in and we're crawling along here then it shoots up and everyone gets the hype and here's a here's a typical rule of investing that i had to learn is that when people are greedy that's when you sell and when people are fearful that's when you buy and so during this time we are we were seeing a whole bunch of during this time right here during this peak when we go let me go to the one day or the seven day rather uh during this peak right here we saw a lot of people greedy. A lot of people wanted to make money, and that is my mistake. I should I should have sold here, uh, and you know hindsight's twenty twenty, and we can't we can't play that game with ourselves. But what ended up happening is like first their you know their weird failed MM, AMA, and then uh, the the Biden talks of you know capital gains, and so now we're establishing what I think is a, a nice support channel right here. Um, it doesn't look to be going anywhere right here and so it's crawling back up whenever it, it dips down a little bit it crawls back up again and so this is a what we call a support line um and so we'll see where this goes again it's so early to find any real trend but we could see typical things that uh, we want to be seen as far as uh what the what the price action is going to go so uh like I said, this is a lower support, meaning we don't think it's going to go down any lower than this. But can it? Maybe. But you know, we want to we want to see it go up. Now, there are two typical reasons why you probably wouldn't want to invest in Safe Moon or buy more into. The first one is that you think it's a scam. You think this is just a whole bunch of scam or a hype. And I've done my research. I don't think it's a scam. The the team and the dev team is uh, pretty um, out there. Their faces are pretty out there. If they were to rug pull, which means uh, you know just uh, dump all their coins and pull all the liquidity out of the market so that it prevents other people from selling, that's called a rug pull. Uh, then you know their their faces are out there. Their names are out there. People know who they are. They they burn themselves for life basically. They don't want to be able. They can't work in this space anymore. And I'm not sure they would be willing to. Do it. Could they do that? Maybe. Will they do that? I highly doubt that. So that's where I I, I don't really think it's a scam. Now, the second thing is when uh, you're a new investor like myself, um, we say, okay, is this? Can the price rebound from here? Is can can this price? Can, will the price stay at this level forever or will it rebound from here? And I think so. I think we can see this rebound from here. Um, I think that we see a lot of movement in uh, in SafeMoon, a lot of you know, a lot of action here. And one of the things is that they are listing on some exchanges. And so if we go down um, this this uh, this uh, screen here, we see that they are listed on something you know called Whitebit and Bitmart. Uh, these are okay exchanges. I mean, of all the exchanges out there. You know, this, these aren't the best ones. MXC is interesting because if we go to the most, oh, okay. And also, this is SafeMoon still one of the top trending, the top trending uh, cryptocurrency. I mean, I mean, check this out. This is just number one. Bitcoin number two, Doge three, Ethereum four, Elon Gate five. SafeMoon is still has the world's attention. But we're talking exchanges here. And so if we go to MXC at number three and we search MXC, it's the number of, it's the 40th largest uh, cryptocurrency exchange by volume. Uh, the other one that they just listed uh, last night is Gate.io. This one I'm really excited about because this one is number eight in the world. There's only seven other um, currencies and it's even larger than the Binance US um, exchange, which is huge. And so Gate.io is, um, uh, is, is a very powerful partnership 
uh, to list on that exchange. And if you didn't know, an exchange is basically somewhere where people go to buy your coin easily. And so they are now on there. Um, of course, we'd, we'd like to see them on maybe like Kraken, Coinbase Pro and Binance in general. And I have no doubt that they will get to these spots. If Dogecoin can get to those spots, um, this can too. But I wanna give you some perspective here because what will happen um, what will happen for us is if we're questioning about this price, um, we should, we just got to bring up a, a comparable a comparable coin, and when we do that, we see we see this, <laughs> we see um, Dogecoin. Let me just bring it. Up. Let me just zoom it out a little bit here. We see Dogecoin, who started in 2014, and then just crawled along this whole way. 2018, there's a little pop. You see a little pop here, and we keep on going. We're crawling. And then we see in the last, what, three months that we see this pop and we're like, you see, you guys see this? Like, oh, it's great. And then it drops again. And we're like, oh, it's such a scam. And then it pops and it drops again. And so we're, we're crawling again and it goes up and we're like, oh, this is it. And then it drops down and then it goes up and, and then it's and now it's down. But geez, Louise, like we've seen these all time highs with Doge. Here's my point. Can it drop? Of course. Is it a risk? Of course, like all things in life. But if we're watching some other hype coins that are that have like gained the world's attention, um, it could it, and 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 that it's already been done. This certainly same thing could happen to Bitcoin or to Safe Moon, and it might take seven years like Dogecoin did, or it might take a year. We don't know because of the network effect. I think it'll be a lot less than seven years because people um, because cryptocurrency is now bigger because um, a lot a lot more institutional investors have put more money. It just the crypto space is much bigger than it was seven years ago. I do see Safe Moon uh, climbing, so I am going to hold. I'm going to hold until about ten thousand in my wallet. I'm not going to buy any more Safe Moon until then. Um, but I think. If, if this is something that you could take a uh, calculated risk on, it's point, um, the price of it right now, if I believe is 0. 0.4, um, 0. 0.504. Let's see, save moon. Yeah, I believe that the it's 0. 0.504, yeah, right there. So it's it's about as low as you can. So this is, this is the time, this is the time. It's consolidating at a, a support channel. And so we're looking at, um, I mean, and it's still number one. <laughs> on the most viewed currencies. Now, I want to show you that my uh, strategy does not stop. Um, so I'm going to take you into um, my Binance.us uh, portfolio, and it's got three thousand, well, twenty-eight hundred dollars in it. It had three thousand dollars, but because of this crash, I want to let you. So, I mean, if some perspective here, we have every one of these um, coins. Everything is in red. I want to show you the top losers and gainers. If the top gainer, it, one of the top gainers is like point increasing by 0.1 or 1%, 4%. I mean, everyone, it, this is a bloodbath right now. Every one of these, my favorite coins is all in the red. BTC, I mean, I want to buy more BTC now at 49. Ethereum, I bought BNB. I bought BNB. And the reason why I bought BNB is because I consistently saw it hit six. 650 600 650 and I bought it at 514 515 and so I'm gonna wait I, I'm gonna buy this um, because people are fearful now and remember our our, uh, our statement if people are, are greedy that's when you sell and if people are fearful that's when you buy and now there's blood in the streets and we're just vultures on a wire waiting for that blood to keep on flowing down and we're gonna go and and you know peck at things and so if you are in, interested in investing in cryptocurrency or whatever, I believe now is the time. There's blood in the streets and there's a lot of fear. And here's how you deal with that fear. F-U-D, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. As a new investor, it grips me, it guides, it, you know, it pulls my choices and makes me f uh, make bad decisions. Uh, if you are fearful, just stop, take a moment, watch my one of my videos, give me a like button, you know what I mean? Just, just kind of settle yourself down. And what helps is if you have a community and you talk about other things with these community and it, like, it, it helps you settle. And especially if you don't have your own um, investment, your own money and the stuff that you're okay with losing. Um, you really have to, at least myself, I've learned that during this time, I really have to keep my emotions in check, whether I'm just on this high opium, hopium deal or um, dealing with fear, uncertainty and doubt, some FUD. I need to be able to make sure that, hey, I've made a sound investment. I need to stay the course. I need to hodl until we get to the moon. Anyway, if you appreciate this video, if you appreciate me showing my, you know, all my wins and my losses and my thought process in going through this, 
um, you know, what I'm buying, how, at what price point, which I just told you I'm buying B and B, and I'm sticking with that. I'm I'm holding on Safe Moon. I'm sticking there. I think you should buy too, uh, because there's blood in the streets. If there's, you mean a sell, hold a garage sale, make a hundred dollars, and then buy some stuff. You know what I mean? That's what I think we should be doing. Um, I think I I firmly believe that uh, uh, cryptocurrency is the future. Any one of these things are a good bet to buy. Um, anyway. If this is something that was helpful to you, my thought process, you're following along my journey, please give me a like. Uh, it really it really pumps me up. I really like it when I see a like button hit. Um, and if you're just a generous person, I know some people don't like to hit that like button for whatever reason. If you're feeling generous today, please give me a like. Anyway, thank you so much um, and hit subscribe and I'll talk to you soon.